unconditional love. It is so rare. Conditional love is easy. I give you love when you do something that I want you to do. You do the dishes and I kiss you on the cheek. I hold the door for you and you smile at me. You do something in bed that I enjoy and I return the favor. It is a, a give and take. At times I take more than I give. At others I give more than I receive. But it is not given freely. There is a cost, a condition to this kind of love. And that cost is compliance. With unconditional love, there is no cost. There is no compliance. It is the act of simply giving. And it is so rare, simply giving again and again and again. Not expecting anything in return, not, not asking with one's eyes or one's hands or, or even one's heart simply giving. Can you imagine what this world would be like if everyone simply gave without expecting or asking for anything in return? It would be a world filled with Jesus's and Buddha's, Muhammad's and Abraham's. It It would be a wonderful, wonderful experience. I have experienced unconditional love at my bedside when my mother fed me ice chips when I could not sip from a cup. When my wife lifted me up after I toppled over in rehabilitation, neither ask if I wanted it each simply offered. They helped me without expecting anything in return. On the rare occasion that I did turn them down, that I turned their help down, they accepted that too. They accepted that without a word. And then they smiled at me. They smiled with understanding and with even more love. Unconditional love is the love a mother gives to her child when going through the pain of childbirth. It is the love a mother gives when nursing. It is loving through the pain it is the love a father gives to his child when explaining why the world is the way that it is. Free from feeling his own pain or his own regrets or even acknowledging if his own needs are being met. Simply being present to the needs of the growing consciousness that is before him that's before them. Unconditional love is about caring for someone, someone else's happiness, without thought to the needs of, of the self. It is about being fully awake and aware and being fully present to the person before you, the world around you, to yourself. It is not an excuse to stay in a bad marriage or in a bad relationship. It is saying, I love you no matter what happens to us. Not I love you no matter what you do to me. 
but what the world does to us. I will love you whether the sun is shining or the clouds are gray. I will love you even when I have had a, a horrible day. I will love you even if you do not love me as deeply. I will not look for love elsewhere even if you do. For richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, no matter what happens to us, I will still love you. Because when I love you, I also love me. I love you no matter what conditions occur around us. That is unconditional love. Do not bother looking for it. It will find you when you are ready to accept it. If you want to feel unconditional love, simply open yourself up to it. It is, it is all around you. It is already within you. Give it to yourself first. Hold yourself in your own heart unconditionally. Respect yourself. Love yourself. Free yourself from those undermining comments that you allow to fester within you. Free yourself from the self-loathing, the self-bashing that that you waste so much time on. All of that does nothing but distract you from the love that is within you, that is all around you. Once you feel the love within you, you will begin to feel the same unconditional love within those around you. You will feel the love around you pass through you without condition, open. You will become a part of the ebb and flow that is the unconditional love we are all a part of. Try it. You will be amazed at what happens, at what transpires, not just with others, but within yourself. Unconditionally. I hope this helps.